Yo guys, Gluten Free EDC here. I'm Brian, your gluten sensitive representative. Today I have an absolute treat for the channel. My buddy lent this to me. You know who you are, man. Thank you so much for lending this my way. It's such an amazing knife. So happy to be able to share this with you all. It's in the description as well as the title in the thumbnail. But you can see here it's pronounced Gumbiner Custom Knives. There's the logo, the LG in a crest or shield. LG stands for Lucas Gumbiner, the name of the maker. So let's dive on in. First, just want to note, the case is really cool. It's really well padded. It's got like this microfiber pouch and inner going on. It's really nice. Then you have this amazingly gorgeous knife, guys. So this was an auction win from Blade Show 2023 in Georgia. Right off the bat, we just got a ton of cool materials coming at you. So let's start in with this carbon fiber. So this is Black Dunes Fat Carbon. Really, really cool stuff. Beautiful, just shades of gray, black. It's just really cool. And of course, within there you have inlay of Australian ringed Gigi. This wood is oftentimes compared to or confused with ironwood. It's an especially hard wood, but all to its own, the striations that are in there, that curly nature, that's typically what we would expect of ringed Gigi. There's other types of Gigi out there that can be a little more yellow, some somewhat pink actually, and lighter brown. This darker red and brown that's going on is more from the heart of the wood. It's really, really beautiful. You also see that here in the pivot collar, on the opposite side with the pivot collar, and a backspacer that's made out of that. Now, of course, you can also see this gorgeous, gorgeous mother of pearl. You have the inlay for the show side pivot screw. You have the inlay on the lock side pivot screw. And then in that Gigi wood backspacer, you have a beautiful mother of pearl inlay, but not one two separate inlays and they are seamless you can't feel them with your nail even really really well done the liners and all the hardware are blasted and tumbled so you have the liners and then the screw here should be noted on the pivot screw that is blasted and tumbled as well to match really cool to see that gorgeous materials all around now there's a couple ways to deploy this knife you can open it with your thumb it's a bit harder with the thumb I think for me at least you can deploy it middle finger flick which is amazing guys so you can go down low you can go up high it's really, really good. And then you have this really cool flipper tab. So you can do a light switch and it works perfect. But if we take a look, so there is some jimping. It's not the lightest jimping. It's fairly sharp, but there's so little of it, you know, you're not cutting yourself on it or anything. It's not that sharp, but if you, do more of a push button from this little tiny flipper tab. It's perfect. It's perfect. I really, 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 really like the action on deployment. So, a detent aside, we'll kind of dive into that in a second. I want to look at this gorgeous blade. 
This is in Fire Clone 2 by Mike Norris. It's got a gorgeous recurve to the blade. You have that drop point. It's more of a, a bit of a spear point tip. I'm sorry, harpoon shape blade. Thanks to that. Thanks to this swedge going on up here and the flat along the top. Really, really cool. You have the functional fuller, of course. Really, really beautiful. Fairly thin. I think this is a hollow grind. I'm pretty bad at being able to tell, but it gets pretty thin behind the edge. And the edge just feels unbelievably sharp. Really cool to see. And this gorgeous Fire Clone 2 Damascus blade is paired with a Fire Clone 2 Damascus pocket clip. Now I want to note the pocket clip. It's fairly thin, which means you can bend it up pretty easily. It's not too sharp where it makes contact with the scale. Although I've not put this in pocket, I'm not pocketing this, carrying it, I'm not cutting with it. But although I've not pocketed it, I would imagine this would be fairly easy in and out of pocket because of how this is designed. It's fairly simple milled design, but that contact not being too sharp should make it fairly easy in and out. It also presents no hot spots when you are gripping the knife, deployed or not. So I can get a nice grip around this knife. It's really, really good. Speaking of grip, let's talk about the ergonomics. So you have that subtle angle from here to here, angles down a bit. You know, guys, if you've watched any of my other videos, I love that shape specifically. It works really well. I think around the butt of the knife, it's not chamfered or contoured, so it is a bit sharp. Other than that though, it feels amazing in the hand. I think the knife overall maybe could have either chamfering or a little more contouring just on the edge there, but it, it works for the rest of the knife. I think just the butt right here can be a little pokey into my palm, but really, really nice to see. Um, the overall contouring on the knife, the scales, really, really gorgeously done. The lockup is awesome on this knife. The lock bar pressure is really good. Access to the lock bar, so this is a fairly thin knife, but access, he's got the cutouts there, there's little grooves on either side. So pushing that aside is really easy, it's effortless. Nice and simple. And you see on that drop, it's a little tiny shake shut. And that is accomplished by Skiff Rocket Glide Ceramic Bearings. This thing, true to the name of those Skiffs, it glides open and shut. It's just mm, money. Really, really cool. So action both on deployment and close is fantastic no blade play side to side no blade play up and down overall construction is fantastic for making folding knives for one and a half to two years this is super impressive now lucas has been making knives a bit longer with kitchen cutlery so kitchen knives and he's making gorgeous stuff. Check out his page on Instagram. He's got amazing work. Now, I did not know about this maker before my buddy sent this knife to me. I 100% am keeping tabs on him now. I am blown away by this knife. Just everything is done just so flawlessly. And to know that he's not been making folding knives that long it blows my mind. 
Another cool thing about the blade, so there's these swedges that meet at this edge, right? It's not sharp at all, but it reaches that apex. And then you have a flat down here. And then here, it's ever so slightly crowned, I think. If you look down there, it seems ever so slightly rounded off. Really cool. And this jimping is fantastic. It's not deep in the slightest. And there's so much of it, it really provides really good traction for your thumb. Not necessary, in my opinion. I imagine that's more for this motion. <laughs> so not really necessary, but I like it. I think your thumb lands on it, feels good. And you have that harpoon shape. It's just really good. So overall, I think Gumbiner Custom Knives is one to check out. One that I wasn't aware of, and I almost am ashamed to admit that because this is a treasure. This dude is making ridiculously nice knives. I chatted with him briefly, and he seems to be a really good guy, responded super quick. You can see, just want to point out another thing, this is nicely chamfered in there. Does make for a great grip with that index finger. Now, this is a just over three inch knife, which I find impressive because it only comes in at 2.93 ounces according to my scale. Obviously, carbon fiber and wood don't weigh too much, but that's still crazy that it's under three ounces, and yet the blade is just over three ounces. For a comparison, I have a Quiet Carry Waypoint, which is a 3.25 inch blade. I'm going to try and line that up so you can see it's ever so slightly just behind that blade. And then I'll bring out the Gareth Bull Knives Shamwari. This is a three inch blade. You can see it's ever so slightly longer. I'm not sure how that actually plays out in the video, but it's ever so slightly longer than the Shamwari. We'll flip this over to the pretty side so you can see them next to each other. Really, just overall, amazing knife, guys. If you have a chance to check out his work, definitely, definitely, definitely check him out. He's over on Instagram. Highly recommend checking his page out. He does beautiful work. He's constantly working with gorgeous materials, different micarta, wood, carbon fiber, all of it. You name it, he does it. And then he also has the kitchen blades, which look ridiculous in their own right. So yeah, I'm blown away, guys. Thank you again to my buddy for lending this to the channel. Take care, guys.